This is tip number eight in a series of 11 tips to buying a home during a seller's market. Make as big of an earnest money deposit as you can. We're talking about your earnest money deposit, not your down payment. Sellers and their listing agents see this as more skin in the game and that you're willing to take a bigger risk of losing that money if you don't perform on the terms of the contract. However, make sure that you are very clear on the terms of the contract when it comes to earnest money deposits to evaluate your own risk. If the offer is written incorrectly by your agent and you need to back out, it could be a painful and expensive process. But if written the right way, your deposit can be protected from loss. Let me give you an example. In California, typically the liquidated damages clause, when mutually agreed upon, states that the maximum a seller can keep as a result of the buyer violating the terms of the contract is only 3% of the purchase price. So theoretically, if the purchase is $1 million and you put a $500,000 or 50% deposit, you're still only risking $30,000 if you need to break the terms of the agreement. Now, please seek the advice of your real estate and legal professional before employing this technique. We're not attorneys or accountants. We're not trying to give you legal or financial advice. Yet, if you take advantage of this technique right away, it may be perceived that you are willing to take a bigger risk and it might get your offer accepted over an even higher offer with a lower deposit. And yes, I even suggest this if you are doing a VA no down payment or FHA 3.5% down payment loan. Remember, we're talking about a good faith deposit, not a down payment. Those deposit funds will be applied towards your closing costs and then the difference returned back to you after the close of escrow. Hey, so glad that you watched. Uh, I hope that these tips have been helpful. If you didn't see all of all 11 tips, uh, either popping up on the screen here somewhere, probably right over there, uh, you're gonna see a video pop up or a playlist pop up. Or if you don't see that, then uh, go to our channel and um, find the playlist that says 11 tips to buying a home during a seller's market and watch those videos in succession. Uh, because it's really good information. I believe that it is helping a lot of people get that home that they're looking for. And in the end of the day, you know, folks, we can't help you out if you don't call. So numbers right there. Go ahead and give us a call, email, text, chat, however you want to do it. Uh, we're available uh, all the time to answer your questions and help you get your dream home. Talk to you soon. Take care.